All right, Leo, welcome to your weekly horoscope for April 27th through May 3rd. My name is Athen. All right, so this week we've got the full moon taking place, and this is happening in your third house. It's been a lot of this um, new beginning in uh, regards to your life path, your, uh, your adventurous side, your travel, your philosophy, anything that expands you. It's about following your wisdom, new wisdom, all this stuff. It's been the new beginning for you. Uh, since that new moon a couple weeks ago, depending on when you're watching this, a few weeks ago. And so now we have the culmination of a lot of that stuff here in the full moon, but it's bringing in the third house, which is always opposite the ninth. And so this has to do with the communications, has to do with uh, the day-to-day -day exchanges. And it could be, you know, something that maybe you've been involved with over the past couple of weeks or six months, Relating to learning, teaching, writing, sharing, communicating, all these third house matters, which can come to a culmination point uh, towards Sunday of this week. And again, a culmination point of maybe the stuff that you've been involved with, with the ninth house, traveling and things like this. So the key as we progress through the week, we want to find that balancing point between the ninth and the third here, which is in essence the left side of the brain, which is very rational. This is the third house getting very rational, very practical as the week unfolds, but balancing that with a lot of this expansion, you know, opening up right brain, right hemisphere stuff that is about possibilities. So taking those possibilities and really making them practical and real as the week unfolds, then you'll be in flow with this sort of lunar cycle. I mean, you're going to be in flow with it just by having that conscious orientation, you see, regardless of whatever it is you're involved with. But more than likely, it'll probably be involving those things you know travel expansion philosophy learning teaching communicating speaking so culmination there and balancing them will be the uh, will be the key so this week we do still have though a lot of emphasis on your ninth house because in the early part of the week we have a lot of aspects from chiron and neptune over here in your seventh which is about relationships and it starts on Monday and Tuesday when Chiron sextiles up to your Mars. Tuesday and Wednesday, that Chiron squares up to your Venus over here in the 10th. And then on Wednesday, that Neptune sextiles your Sun. So the key here is bringing in whatever it is that's been about flow with relationships, surrender, letting go with relationships, and also perhaps some healing taking place in terms of your perspective on relationships. And or maybe healing through relationships as well. So that's going to be, I think, an emphasis Monday through Wednesday. And you want to bring that energy into whatever it is you're involved with about the ninth house, the expansion stuff, and also involving the tenth house. I mean, I think the ninth house is definitely going to be the highest emphasis for you because you've got your ruler there, especially. And that's all part of this lunar cycle. But we've got Mercury shifting into your tenth here on Thursday. So as the week unfolds, there will be more and more of this thinking about work, thinking about public related things. And you've had Venus there, so maybe you've been making connections through your work or enjoying your work. And so that's still on the table this week. But your mind, your thinking, the day to day stuff will certainly be more and more about this more public, you know, related part of your chart, especially once Mars goes in there a little bit later on in a couple weeks and then the sun as well. So that's going to be um, a support in terms of your work, bringing in this flow with relationships, you know, that easygoing energy, that Neptunian energy of what's really important, you know, seeing past, seeing past not, you know, at things for the way that we see them, but this underlying spiritual connection through our one-on-one -on -one connections. And that's all relationships. So it can, really, it can really support you in terms of all this expansion and in terms of your work and things like this. Finding how you can bring in relationships into these areas can be very spiritual. You know, Neptune and, and Chiron can be very healing as well. So that's the early part of the week. And then on Thursday, like I said, we have that Mercury going into the 10th. So there is shifting there midweek in terms of your mind thinking more about the, um, you know, the work stuff. A, still very much about the expansion, travel, philosophy, but it's something shifting in terms of maybe understanding uh, a lot about the philosophy and expansion towards the beginning of the week because anytime a planet gets to the tail end of a sign, it's a full understanding of that and then the shift and understanding, okay, let's start thinking about the work stuff, the more practical stuff, the big picture things in your life or public things. 
So that'll be a shift. And when that happens, we do have uh, the challenge of the week, which will be Saturday and Sunday, which is going to be this Mercury opposing up to Saturn from your fourth. So with Saturn in your fourth, there's been this uh, discipline with your perhaps home or family or you know taking things seriously there or getting things done there commitment, maturity, these types of related things. And so whatever it is you're involved with in the more public part of life, thinking about that, because Mercury is also correspondence too, so maybe getting more involved with that, remembering that there are these commitments or things that you're doing long term relating to home or family, past, your emotional, more domestic side of life. So finding that harmony towards the weekend between essentially work and domestic life will again create that flow because Saturn can be a very strong um, asset to you Saturday and Sunday to really help you with a lot of these things that you might be involved with at work, but it'll come through making sure you have that serious approach and long-term approach to these more emotional underlying things with that Saturn. Now, like I said, on Sunday, we have that full moon, so that's going to be a culmination there. It's going to be a culmination of this third house here for you. So I think, um, yeah, very good weekend for anything relating to the third house. Again, communicating, writing, teaching, sharing, all of that will be in accordance. And again, it can be a culmination point in terms of a lot of those things in your life. So the energies are high this week. We're coming into it in the first quarter phase. And as the week unfolds, it'll be more and more about the, um, the communications and more practical side to a lot of this expansion that you've been involved with. All right, Leo. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you're new to this uh, form of astrology, do check out MasteringTheZodiac.com. It's different than the uh, traditional astrology. If you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch. You can find those on the website as well. And have, have a great time. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Take care.